Hey what is up guys welcome back to another City Skylines video and in this video I will be showing you 5 tips and tricks for City Skylines on Xbox and PS4. These tips and tricks are going to make your city more realistic and give you a better city building experience. Now not all of these tips on the list may be the most practical but they are pretty unique and you may not know some of them. So let's get into it with tip number one which is going to be putting a self sustaining lake into your city. This is something fun and easy that you can put into your city to make it look a little more realistic. I also wanted to get this tip out of the way first because it's going to be the only thing on this list here that requires you to have a DLC. You're going to start by making a road design. Now this road design doesn't have to look like the one I'm doing right here, but it is going to be the shape of your lake. So whatever you want your lake to look like, it's going to be what this road looks like. Next up, you're going to dig down far enough down to fit a water pumping station and then you're going to fill up that dugout area with fresh water outlets and after you fill up the lakes with water, delete your roads and delete all but three or four of your fresh water outlets. Let the water settle down and boom you have a lake. Now you can add some foliage or other things to make it fit into your city. If you want a more in-depth explanation, watch this video up here where I go through the tutorial on how to make a lake step by step. Moving on to tip number two, you are going to learn how to build highway walls or train walls on land. These are made with quays that are designed to be in water, but can look just perfect in your city when making highway walls through a plateau or a mountain, a hillside, anything like that. Okay, so what you're going to do is find your plateau or hill that you want a highway to go through, uh, or you could just build one like I did right here. Then you're going to dig down to the level that your road is on, create a trench, and next up what you're going to need is some type of temporary water or liquid source to put in the trench such as a freshwater outlet or even a sewage outlet. Let the trench fill up for a bit and then build the quays or highway walls and make sure that they're parallel then continue the whole way across. If you need to dig out some more land like I'm doing right here then do so and finally dig the whole way through build a barrier around at the ends and finish the walls. After that fix up your land make it nice and smooth and you're done with your highway walls. Tip number three is a cool trick that you can implement into your suburbs and that's a cul-de-sac. If you don't know how to make this by now it's super simple. Have your normal neighborhood road come out and then make a one unit long six lane road two units away from the end of your first road. Then drag two two lane roads across the end of that road and connect both roads with a four lane road. Delete the two roads that go out and upgrade the rest of your road with whatever the first road was and boom you have a clean looking cul-de-sac. The next tip is something to improve your day to day building experience in your city. If you didn't know there are actually mods on console. Oh, okay they're really not mods but they're more like assets that you can add into your city. Just install them right here by checking the box and they could be a building that pops up in your residential zone. It could be a plane that goes through your airports or a park that you add into your city to give it some more unique flavor that other console cities don't have. The other part of this tip is going to be props. Props are located under the leisure tab all the way to the right. There are cool little things that you can add into your city like a food truck or a bench or even a fountain to add so much more detail to your city. An example of using these props in one of your cities would be right here under this overpass I have in one of my cities where I place these props to add some more detail if you were ever looking close or things that kind of show up in my cinematics. Now before I get to this last tip on the list, I want to thank you so much for watching this far, so here's a fun bonus trick you may not know. Switch to cinematic view, hold Y on Xbox or Triangle on PS4, and then select walk. This is going to allow you to explore your entire city in first person as if you were a citizen in one of your cities. You can jump on houses and buildings that you built, you can be an animal or even fly around your city as a bird. You're also able to drive around your city in a car if you chose the drive option as well. And since we're on console, playing like this with a controller is overall super fun, especially knowing that these are the things that you built. Okay, now that you know how to do that, let's get into our fifth and final tip, which is going to be turning your console into a PC. That's right, plug in a mouse and keyboard and play City Skylines just like you would on computer. I only found out about this recently and I made a video on it, which you can check out right here. 
And before you go, if you have any questions on anything that I talked about in this video, make sure to leave it in the comment section down below. And that's all for now. Like, comment, and subscribe for more City Skylines content, and I'll see you in the next one.